What's up, guys? Good morning. So, I've been thinking, what really bugs me today? Well, <laughs> my first inclination was to think, you know, nothing bugs, really bothers me or bugs me today. I thought, yeah, right. <laughs> so I turned on headline news to see if anything there was going to bug me. And sure enough, yeah. See, they keep going on and on about this flight attendant dude. All right. Now, I've worked, uh, sorry. I've worked retail. I've worked service before. I totally understand just, you know, wanting to cuss somebody out and leave. Okay, technically I can totally understand wanting to hit somebody in the face with a hatchet 25 times, take their wallet, and kick their kid on the way out. Cool, cool, no problem. Totally fine to feel that way. Hell, for all I'm concerned, it's totally fine for cussing those people out and leaving the plane. Now, my problem is the fact that now they're talking about giving him his own reality TV show. What the hell? All right. Now, <laughs> this started getting me thinking about what the hell is up with all these people who are irresponsible, they're like jackasses, they don't believe in the ideas like, you know, moral ethics, but they get rewarded. Meanwhile, people who are responsible, people who, you know, who go to work every day, you know, they'll clean their house, they'll, you know, raise their children, they'll do the right responsible thing. Uh, according to a right and responsible timeline, more or less. And what kind of rewards do we get? Anything? Anything? Yeah, I know there's that warm, fuzzy feeling you get. It's like, oh, I did the right thing. I feel good about myself. You know, screw that. All right? I couldn't give two shits or a fuck about warm, fuzzy feelings. If I want a warm, fuzzy feeling, I will eat a damn scarf. Okay, what I would like, I would like my own reality TV show. Because for one, that would be more like reality, okay? Because you, you take like 20 people and you put them on a little island with a bunch of cameras. Let me tell you something, that is not reality. Oh, here's Jazz. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been around for the last couple of vids, have you? Anyways, you know, that ain't reality. Somebody running around being an asshole to other people, that's reality. <laughs> you see where I'm coming at from with that? So, uh... There's the irony in reality TV, but, you know, regardless. Take Levi Johnston, for example. Now, I think I look about as good as Levi Johnston when I try. At this moment, looking at me in this video, <laughs> no, I don't, right? But, dude, seriously, I woke up just a couple of hours ago. I'm on my, my second pot of coffee. I haven't shaved. I'm scrubby right now. I'm, I'm kind of hot, I think, for scrubby. But, you know, I mean, if I clean myself up and actually try, sure. I, I think I look about as good as Levi Johnston. Where's the difference? Hmm, well, let's see. For one, I did not get a teenage person pregnant. That's a big difference. For two, um, I don't know any politicians personally that I would want to insult and make up lies about. I know, like, one politician personally, uh, J.C. Miller, the local district representative guy or something. I don't know. I got his number just because... I'm the type of person who will save the personal cell phone numbers of any politician I meet. Beware. <laughs> but uh, the big thing is the fact that I'm not a douche. <laughs> That's why I'm not as well liked and as profitable or, you know, lucrative or whatever as Levi Johnston. Because Levi Johnston is some kind of a douche. And I... I'm just a well-wiped asshole. There's no market for well-wiped assholes, is there, kitty? For real. So, I continue to not get paid to blog about stuff that at least people are starting to watch now. By the way, thank you. I totally see those subs coming in, man, and I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it, and I'm loving y'all. Anyways, though, we're talking about douches and irresponsibility. As opposed to irresponsible use of douches, which, you know, I mean, can only involve babies and eyes, and I don't want to get into that. But, uh, okay, sidebar. Making cigarettes fireproof? Stupid. <laughs> Unsidebar. But, you know, I mean, what are we supposed to have to look forward to? What kind of motivation do we actually have as individuals or as a group 
to uh, be responsible, to do the right thing, to look out for others, to, you know, I mean, just be responsible parts of society. What kind of motivation do we have to do that when it's the people who rip people off who get paid for it? Seriously, you know, when it's people like collection agents who, uh, no, that's not collection agency paperwork. I just toss that right the hell out. Uh, <laughs> you know, a collection agents, you know, okay, government sponsored uh, loan sharks. I did not accept a loan from any kind of credit company to pay off any kind of bill I had. The government says that it's okay for them to do that, so that that way they can turn around and come after me. That is an asshole douche move. Asshole douche move. Seriously. Oh. But, what happens? They're able to charge us like 80% interest. They're able to sue us, and if we continue to avoid them, they're able to send people with guns to our house to tell us that they're going to take our, maybe not our freedom, but take anything we actually have away. Hmm. It's kind of like, you know, when I had the uh, that back support there. I had a little bit of back child support for a while. You know, hey, I went on a deadbeat. I was just, you know, not that responsible, okay? Get off my ass, all right? It's all paid off now. <laughs> Anyhow, so about a month before it all got paid off, the state of Indiana or Oklahoma, I don't remember which one. Yeah, the Rob Dog gets around. <laughs> You can quote me on that, but I wouldn't, because it wouldn't make any sense if your name's not Rob. Anyhow, you know what? Just don't use that, because I'm the Rob Dog. You're not the Rob Dog, okay? Just just ask me for permission, all right? I'm going to put a copyright on that. Just stop distracting me. I'm talking about something else, please. So, shit. All right, thanks, guys. I totally lost what I was talking about. <laughs> It's like collection agencies or something. Responsibility. I, I don't know. I think you get the point, though. I mean, really, you know, if you're a good person and you do the right thing and you're responsible about stuff, what you get is you get this fantastical pipe dream about, you know, oh, well, then when you die, you'll get your reward then. Do, what? What is this a reward I'm supposed to get when I die for being a good person? You know, I don't run around and take money from, you know, handicapped people, so I'm supposed to have God pat me on the head and be like, you're a good person, just like all the other people who are here. Okay, first of all, right, I'm a polytheist. Okay, so the Christian God ain't going to accept me. Fine, whatever, dude, you know, I've got the idea that, you know, I mean, any place up in the sky with, like, gold streets and pearl walls and stuff is too goddamn bright for me anyway. So, you know, whatever. I like it. But that does not comfort me. The idea that when I die, I will get rewarded for being a not bad person is no comfort for me. You know, especially when I see people who are more than happy to rip you off or steal from you. And what do they get? What do they get for being bad people? They get money. They get money. I don't have money. Why? Because I don't freaking rip people off. I don't freaking con people out of money, you know? The hell. <laughs> so, you know, it really pisses me off how the bad guys, quote unquote, in life. I guess if I did this, I didn't need to go quote unquote. But now you know what that means if you didn't before. I'm not assuming any of you are stupid because if you subbed me or you're watching me, you've most definitely made one of the more intelligent decisions of your life. You can put that money into the bank or whatever. I don't know. I'm really screwing up these catchphrases today, these slang things, man. Oh no. Anyways, I'm just saying that this, you know, I mean, having had pagan... Sorry, I gotta start turning my phone off because I'm getting texts now whenever I'm blogging. It's weird. So, uh, but I, I think the general idea is, is that, you know, we hear about these things like karma. You know, I mean, whatever you do, good, bad, or nothing comes back to you three times. And to a point, I think that's true. I think that's very representative of, like, the cosmic balance of things, you know, as a refers to people but uh really I mean you don't see it in operation 
you know, you know, I mean, sure, bad guys and stuff, you know, and, and evil politicians or whatever you want to call them, you know, they get cancer just like the rest of us. But, you know, I mean, they don't fucking die from it because they get CAT scans on like a biannual basis. We, we get CAT scans about two years after it could have done any good. And then we go into debt for the CAT scan. Where's the fucking karma? You know, I mean, you're a good person. Say so you're a good person and you take in, you know, and you go and you help out homeless people. Not saying you shouldn't do that. But what I am saying is that, you know what, when you deal with the desperate homeless people, they, some of them at least, have a tendency of ripping you off. Where's the fucking karma in that? You know, I mean, I'm sure that some way or another, me doing a good deed probably, you know, makes a comet avoid hitting a star, but that does me jack shit good. If I'm a good person, if I do good for other people, you know what I want karmically? Money. I want to get fucking paid for being a good person. I want to get fucking known for being a good person. All right, there's nothing outside the Bible which says that I have to be humble if I want to be a good person. Maybe I want to put some hours in the Habitat for Humanity, and then I want to tell everyone about it. Maybe I want to donate $150 to saving some animals, and I want something more than commercials at dinner time showing me two-footed animals trying to make me feel bad because I've only rescued three cats. You know what? Screw that, dude. Our best reward is to feel bad or to get screwed over for being a good person? God. The warm, fuzzy feeling. The warm, fuzzy feeling. Okay, three strokes for that. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go kick a puppy. So, feel free to comment. I'm not really going to kick a puppy. I'm sorry. That's just mean. I'm not going to kick puppies. I'm going to... Stomp around, though, and act like I'm a puppy kicker. Because that's what I do. Act like puppy kicker people. Alright, then. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for bearing with me for almost 13 minutes of this. Wow. I hope this all posts. And thank you from when the last video I did. Uh, a couple people had responded, giving me some ideas towards uh, how to actually edit these uh, things. So that way they can, I don't know, be good. So that way the funny ones can actually turn out funny, you know, for the people in case, you know, you run across people who don't understand words and all they understand is fart jokes and people getting smacked in the head or something. I, I don't know. Anyways, all right, cool. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I look like such a just-woke-up drunken scrub. <laughs> I'll do better next time, for real. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Peace.